So I got myself this like mini tripod thing so that I could film in my car. Um, hopefully I don't get into an accident, but <laughs> I have to remember to pay attention to the road and not the camera. But the reasoning for that was is that I'm always talking to myself in the car and I thought that it would be interesting to have to record myself in the car talking. Normally I listen to music in the car. Yesterday, I discovered the world of podcasts, and I know you're probably thinking, why did it take you so long? I started listening to Shane, Shane and Friends, and then I branched off to Ju Jenna and Julian. Jenna Marbles and Julian, I think his last name is Solomita, but that's what I was listening to. Oh my God, I hate cars that have like the police symbol in their window because it just makes me like, think that they're police officers but like I don't know so it's kind of suspicious. Right now I'm on my way to school. It's the last Tuesday of the semester. Um, classes end on Monday which is pretty awesome. I hope something interesting happens because a lot of times when I'm driving I'm constantly like oh my god I get extreme road rage and it's not good. I also think it'd be interesting to like see what I look like while I'm driving. It's working better than I thought. The tripod that I got is from eBay. Was it eBay? No. I got the tripod from Amazon.com and it was like less than ten dollars and I have I had no idea what a car tripod was and this isn't even a car tripod it's just you look up car tripod and it comes up with mini tripods and it has like these little flexible legs I guess so you could kind of like bend them so that the tripod stays on the dashboard. I'm always thinking of things that I could talk about when I'm in the car and I'm always like oh I wish I had a mini tripod or a car tripod to like record stuff. It's like May, but it's still cold. And over the weekend, I decided to wash all of my clothes. And I thought that it would be beneficial to hang up a lot of my athletic wear to dry. Cause I always feel like my leggings and like stuff like that gets really worn when you put it in the dryer. So I decided to hang it up in my basement. And it's been two days, well, like two and a half days and the clothes are still wet so I was forced to wear a dress <laughs> the last two days and it's like cold and windy and I always wear like the wrong clothes for the wrong weather like when it's raining I usually wear like flip-flops because I'm an idiot when it's like really cold I'll wear a sundress it just doesn't it doesn't add up and my phone is low-key gonna die because I fell asleep with it on like 10% and I woke up, it was like on 4%, and I've been using it all morning, so that's where we are now. You could say like, oh, can't you just plug it into charge? Sometimes that doesn't work in my car, so. Okay, we are on try number three, because my car, my phone keeps turning off. Either someone calls me or the battery was dying, so it gives you that weird notification that shuts the camera off. So, so far we are off to an interesting note, but I'm probably gonna end up uploading this vlog because it's just funny, because I can't get my life together. I also like really wanted to go to the beach the last couple days, but it's like still too cold. That's like the trouble with living in New York. Ugh. I like, I love New York, but then I don't because there are things about it that are amazing, but then there are also things about it that's like, it's hard living in New York. Like everything is more expensive. The weather, the weather sucks in New York. Like honestly, we have four seasons, but it's like extreme. It's getting worse, honestly. Like. We have like really cold days in the summer. We have really warm days in the winter now. It's just, today is my bunny rabbit's birthday. Tomas, my black rabbit. I think I've showed her in a vlog. I don't even know. But she's four today, which is really exciting. I sang happy birthday to her yesterday. And that was so cute. You can't tell if I'm hot or cold. I keep like closing the window and like opening the window. This is one of those times of the year where everything kind of is just coming together and you kind of just hope that all of the pieces of everything you've been working on just fall into place with like school and work and there's a lot of events coming up i know my sister is graduating and so we have a couple things to do for that and um my two-year anniversary is coming up which is exciting um, my boyfriend's birthday a lot of exciting events i just feel like <laughs> sometimes Everything happens at once, and then other times 
there's nothing going on. Like I just feel like I can't catch a break because there's always either a lot of things happening or no things happening. So I hate red light cameras. Like in my opinion, I have a lot of opinions on things. If you're doing something wrong, there should be a police officer at the intersection, like watching for people running the red light and whatever. The red light cameras are so not accurate in my opinion, it's just annoying. Sometimes I've gotten red light tickets for making a right on red and in New York, you can do that on in some places unless stated otherwise. So I don't understand why. They just redid these roads, so it's kind of weird feeling on my car. Even though it's supposed to be flat road, it kind of feels like rough, I guess. My car is also crappy and always constantly needs to be repaired. That's my other goal, buy a new car. I would love to get a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. <laughs> that would be awesome. My boyfriend really wants a Cadillac. I'd settle for, settle. <laughs> I would take a Cadillac, a white SUV. My boyfriend wants more of like, not an old car, he wants a new car, but one that like kind of looks like a retro car, which I think is really cool. And also he's into like black cars and I love white cars, so I think that's cool one day to have like his and her vehicles. I definitely think that SUVs should be the only type of car that people can drive because I hate driving a sedan. It literally has no, well, my car is old too, so I can't really, I can't really speak, but for the most part, my car has no traction on the road and it's really difficult to drive in like rain and snow and it's just not conducive to the weather we have in New York. So I definitely am a firm believer that certain cars are for certain terrains. And I think in New York, because we have such crappy weather all of the time, I should drive an SUV. So my next car is going to be a white SUV. I'm curious to know if a, a more expensive car is actually a better car. Some people claim no. Some people like cars. Some people swear by cars that are not the higher end vehicles. They're more of in a lower price range, but people, it gets them from point A to point B. And that's sometimes all that matters. And I know that, but it would be nice to drive a better car. I wonder where I go to school. There's like two, there's like the school that I go to and then there's like another university. And I wonder if they graduated already. I don't know. I can't get this to like angle towards me without, I don't know, it's just weird. I have to figure it out. But I think this was a good test try. Full now. Oh, and I also, like, I realized I can upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. So my last video on my main channel is like 19 minutes long, which is pretty cool. Because <laughs> when I first started YouTubing back in like 2010, you couldn't upload a video longer than 15 minutes or like you had to be some you had to have been on youtube for a long time and had a certain amount of subs and views to change your thumbnail and also upload a video longer than 15 minutes long and so it's like what seven years later and i just figured out that i'm able to do that but i think that's something that they recently changed because i noticed a lot of people even people that are like newer on youtube they're uploading videos that are longer than 15 minutes long, so they definitely changed it. Because obviously everyone can change their thumbnail now, which is pretty cool. I just remember, if you've ever uploaded a video on YouTube, you would know that there's like three thumbnail images that are like preset, and then you could um, click um, custom thumbnail. And I remember that option wasn't available unless you had like a certain number of like subscribers and views or whatever. And you always hoped when you uploaded the video that one of the three preset thumbnails was going to be something halfway decent, which is why my older videos have like weird pictures as their thumbnails. I was going to change it and like make thumbnails for my older videos, but then I was like, you know what? That's just, that's what people know, you know? No reason to change the past. None of my teachers this semester marked for attendance or like cared if you walked in late. And I walked in late a couple times, but they like don't care if you're getting the work done, which I think is the best policy. There's a difference between being late and not showing up to the class. And by not showing up, I mean, if you don't show up like more than half of the class, then you, you shouldn't be able to get your final grade. But as far as coming in late, I think there should be a true cutoff. It's impossible to get somewhere on time every single day because just life happens, you know, in like bad weather or you have to 
drive someone somewhere or you have a responsibility that you have to do before the class or after the class or something that just like life happens and I don't think it's necessary also too like I hate when teachers count attendance as part of the grade I get it a little bit but I've had teachers that literally like half your grade was just attendance like you showed up to class you got you had like half of your grade in already and some people are like yeah well you should always show up to class and like that's a fair thing but it's like if I'm getting the work done and I'm participating when I'm at class it should have and I'm and I'm pretty decent of a student it shouldn't matter like if I'm late or not like all right we made it at least 40 minutes of film so footage I don't know um so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here, but maybe start another one on my way home. I don't know, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.